Hey boys and girls, what's up? I'm Josh and I love to teach about art, creativity, and philosophy. And I was getting ready to film lesson nine of Drawing Foundations and I realized something. Lesson nine should have been rolled into lesson seven. So I felt pretty stupid, right? Um, but not, no, not, not really. because I learned something, even if it put me behind a little bit. And that got me thinking, I still need to make a video to put up. And I love to teach about art, creativity, and philosophy. So this was a great opportunity for me to pivot my plans and do something with the creativity and philosophy that I love so much. So what are we gonna chat about today? Showing up. I didn't let myself sit there and think, oh balls, I can't do a video this week because I messed up with my planning. That would have been a really limiting belief. And I'm sure you've heard the old Henry Ford quote, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. Well, Henry Ford was right and he thought he could. So here's what I gather from his nugget of wisdom. If you think you can't do something, you're absolutely right. You've already created this wall that gives you an excuse not to do whatever it is that you really wanted to do. Limiting beliefs create limited results or they eliminate the results altogether. And that's some BS. I didn't want to tell myself, oh, I can't get a video out this week because I know that I can. And that's the first lesson for today. In order to show up, you have to know that you can show up because if you think you can't, you just won't. It's plain and simple. And that goes for any kind of growth. As you move through any type of training or learning, you have to think that you can grasp whatever it is that you're trying to learn. Someone else has managed to get those skills and that's proof that you can too. So don't get discouraged by the talent of others. Be inspired by it. Recognize that they worked hard for those skills and know that you can get those skills too. And now that we've established that the mindset is really important, you know, that you have to think that you can do something to even have a chance at it. Let's talk about how you get there. And I've already said it a few times. You have to show up so Scott Adams, the creator of the Dilbert comic strip, released a book in 2013 called How to Fail at Almost Everything and Still Win Big. His big point in this book was that he operates with systems and habits, lots and lots and lots of systems and habits that help him accomplish his goals. From drawing to writing and even going to the gym, he has a system or a habit to win big. He might not do as many reps every day. He might not do as many sketches, but he shows up and especially with his comics. So show up and do the work. That's how you get better by being consistent. And that's a really important word, consistency. And it's a lot more important than the intensity. Remember Scott Adams, he might show up to the gym and do nothing but he still shows up. He's all right with sucking sometimes, but he's never gonna skip. So it's okay to suck at something. It's not okay to skip. So I draw every day, I exercise every day, and I try to create something every day. Sometimes that creation sucks. Like today, for instance, when I sat down to go over my notes and it just kind of dawned on me that the video that I wanted to film today, it wasn't the right video that I needed to do next for drawing foundations to make sense, but I still needed to deliver something. And I'm hoping that uh, recording this video will be a little bit of an inspiration for other people to show up consistently. So show up, even if things don't go just right show up and know that you can accomplish what you're setting out to do as long as you do the work. Even if the results aren't what you wanted, show up. If you wanna get better at anything, 
You have to think that you can, and you have to show up to do the work. <sighs> so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If it helped you, make sure you share it with your friends. And if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Uh, also, drop a comment below with one of your big goals that you want to chip away at slowly but surely by showing up even if it sucks. And until next time, be creative and do the work.